All right, now we're going to talk about a Carolina rig, how to rig that. Carolina rigging is it's a great way to fish deeper water. It's kind of the way that it's used the majority of the time, but it certainly can be used in shallow water too. Everything can be switched up to match the way that you're fishing, how you're deep you're fishing, what you're fishing for, but I mean the weight can be big or small, hook size can vary, the line you're using, and just any soft plastic bait really will work, whatever you want to use. And you know you just pick a hook that matches the bait that you want to use. So I'm just going to show you just the general setup of how it's done. It's certainly not the way that it has to be. Things can be tweaked a little bit to your liking, but this is the way that I normally do it. And it's, oh, I'd say the standard way in general that um, Carolina Rig is used for the most part. You always want two different test line, in my opinion. I always use, for my main line, I'll go off a 20-pound test usually, but that's what I have here. It's just 20-pound fluorocarbon. This would just be your line coming off your reel here. First thing you want is your weight. Oh, egg type sinkers, just the lead ones work good. I believe a half ounce, and then this is a three quarter tungsten ounce, but whatever type of weight you want to use. But these are the two main styles that I normally use. Just gonna thread your weight on your main line. And the next thing you want is these little glass beads here. You can get these, oh, I always buy mine at like a hobby store or a craft store. They're really cheap. You can get you know, bags of a hundred of them, but let's take a couple beads. A lot of times, you know, the kind of the standard is just one glass bead, but I like to do two. What those beads do is they kind of just, oh, you can, you know, the weight hits against them and the beads hit each other. They just make a little, a little noise, kind of like a sound that a crawfish would make. So just kind of a way to get the fish's attention. Okay, after the weight and the beads, Next thing I do, and this is kind of a, well, it's kind of an extra step that, you know, isn't really normal, but it's one thing that I like to do. I'll take one of these little bobber, rubber, rubber bobber stoppers, and I'll put one on my line here. And the reason I do that, I'll show you here in a minute, but the reason I do it is to protect the knot we're going to make, because those beads and that weight hitting against your knot a lot of times can... Uh, damage your knot and damage your line right above your knot, causing your line to break. So, I like I think this rubber bobber stop helps out a lot. So let's move that up the line. Then the next thing you want is a swivel, just a good swivel. Just tie a, I uh, just tie a polymer knot here. Okay. Then you just trim your tag in on your knot for your swivel. There's kind of a lot to this technique, but once you do it a time or two, it's pretty simple. All right, so we got our 20 pound main line here. Next, we're going to make our leader line. And your leader can be, oh, it's, I mean, well, however you want, really. I normally keep it right around foot, foot and a half, 12, 18 inches. I mean, you can have one five inches if you want, or five feet if you wanted, but you know, a foot to three foot is kind of about the standard. I usually use 17 pound line. You know, just you just want something that's lighter than your main line. What that does is it keeps you from, if you're gonna get snagged or hung up and you end up having to break off, all you're gonna lose is your hook because this line's gonna break first instead of your main line breaking and losing everything in your entire rig and having to retie the same thing or the entire thing. So all you do now is you break off your leader and all you have to do is make a new leader and tie on a hook. So it just saves you a lot of time. So take your leader and again I just tie a polymer knot again and start out with you know make your leader plenty long right here for this knot then you can trim it to whatever length you want before you tie on your hook and for this video I'll probably make my leader pretty short just so it's easier to see alright then the last step tying on your hook 
and you know whatever hook you're going to use for whatever bait you want I just got just I normally use just an offset worm style hook when I'm Carolina rigging and then again I'll just do a polymer knot but like I said I mean there's all sorts of different plastic baits you can use so whatever plastic bait you're using will determine the hook that you want turn that tag end and just pick whatever soft plastic you want just thread it on your hook Texas style make it good and weedless okay and then if you use the rubber stop just move that down all the way to where it's touching your knot that'll just keep your bead and weight from hitting on that actual knot it'll save you from breaking off and losing fish and having to retie all the time so finished product then <clears throat> looks like this this will be your main line coming off to the left and your leader so this main line will be you know dragging along the bottom hitting rocks and all that stuff and making noise and commotion just kind of getting the fish's attention and then trailing behind it floating off the bottom a little bit will be your your lure and without the weight anywhere near your lure it just has a real nice slow natural falling action and you just drag this along the bottom a really good way to catch fish so hope that was easy to follow and hopefully that'll help you catch some more fish.